Did you know Creative Fabrica has a suite of AI tools aimed at helping print-on-demand sellers and crafters alike with their business? In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the coolest tools that you're going to see as far as the AI trend goes. It's called Creative Fabrica Spark Image Mix, where we can feed in any image and it will remix it using AI. And it's, I mean, about as easy as it could possibly be because they actually have a Chrome extension that you can install in one click that makes it so that any image you see on the internet can be one click away from being remixed. I'm gonna show you how to use it in this video. Let's get to it. So as I mentioned, Creative Fabrica, they have a full suite of AI tools and I'll drop a link in the description so that you can look at just the AI tools. They release them all under the name Creative Fabrica Spark. The one that I wanna show you today is the Image Mix. Now, as I mentioned, this is a Chrome extension so you can install it in one click. Once you have it installed, you can basically go to any image on the internet all right, like for instance, Pexels, all right? You guys know Pexels, it's like Creative Commons zero license images from professional photographers. Um, I don't really know what I expected to see here. Why don't we look up like flower, okay? I haven't even tried this before, so we're doing it. It's not live, this is a pre-recorded video, but I'm actually really excited to see what we come up with. All right, let's do this right here. So notice, when I hover over, do you guys see that? If I zoom in, maybe you'll see it. Um, there's a generate button from Creative Fabrica. This is with the Chrome extension installed. So I click that and then just hands off. I just give it a second. Actually, no, I have to click generate right here. But just so you know, you can copy paste image URLs here or just take the image that we just fed in. Uh, the image we fed in, it just has the URL of where that image lives on the internet. And we click generate. Now we have to give it maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds or so based on my experience to go and remix this graphic that we can use for sales, for whatever we, we see fit, really. <laughs> I actually ran some experiments. So while this generates, let me scroll down. I think I can show you some previous ones. So here, I fed in an image of a dog, and it remixed the dog silhouette into all of these different types of dogs. I can already think of an easy way to monetize these guys. Why don't we create a bundle of SVG graphics Right, so we may, need to, we may need to convert these into SVGs, but then we can sell them as a bundle of SVG graphics as digital downloads on Etsy. You know what people who buy digital downloads on Etsy love more than just one graphic? They love bundles of similar graphics. That is our value proposition, or at least that's one of them. This makes it so easy to do. I ran one where I, I ran an image of myself in, and then I got a bunch of uh, remixed versions of myself. So I don't know if that's something I should be worried about. I hope that I don't look like most of these AI people uh, at any point in my future, but who knows? I ran my uh, other branded image, the uh, cartoonized version of myself, my, my YouTube brand icon. And they came up with, dare I say, like parallel dimension versions of me uh, with better hairlines than the, the real life version of me that it remixed. So thank you for that. Um, I ran an image of the Santa Claus straight out of Google Images. Guys, you can go to Google Images and just hover over and it'll let you remix them, all right? It's crazy. By the way, you can also hover over to download, but as long as you're outside of Creative Fabrica, you just hover over, click the remix button, and it sends it in. Here's another example. So this was actually on the um, landing page. I will link directly to Creative Fabrica image mix, image mix as well in the description. All right, and uh, on that page, they give you a couple like baseline images just to allow you to quickly demo what it does. So you've already seen this video, but why don't you explore it for yourself? Again, use that link, it's super easy. It's like, well, you install a Chrome extension, then it's like one click away. All right, but check this out. Let's go check out our flowers. Sorry for interrupting. I wanted to let you know that linked in the description, you can find my free print on demand mini course that is completely new for 2023. If you sign up, it'll help you get your first sale. And down there, you'll find a link to my print-on-demand Facebook group. I hope you'll join the community. And they actually came out better than expected. Um, this is super cool. For a reminder, what we did here is we went to Pexels. All right, Pexels are where photographers upload images to the uh, public domain. So Creative Commons Zero License, that means they can be used for commercial use, personal use, whatever. No attribution required, no payment required, all right? So they're perfect candidates for this. Then 
check it out. We gave it a minute to run uh, through the image mix, and we have a bunch of unique AI generated images that we can then bundle together. I mean, this is just one thought that I'm thinking out loud here, bundle them together, sell them as digital downloads as a bundle on Etsy. Why not? Right. Um, if you have an, any other ideas too, you could feed these into whatever you want to do. Posters, um, wall art, you know what I mean? There's a lot of probably different ways you could utilize this. You could feed them into remove.bg by the way, because you don't have to just restrict it to, you know, photographs of flowers. I'm just saying, um, whatever it, it ends up being that you use it on, um, you can remove the background if that graphic's going to look good on a t-shirt. Obviously, it can work with animation too. Like we did it with the silhouettes here. I know this would actually be perfect use case for some digital downloads um, on my you know branding image here. So it can work with cartoon graphics as well. Why don't we run one more test? Let's go over here to Pexels and um, let's go to like outer space because I have no clue what it's going to do with this. Some of these are just pictures of like galaxies. Actually, you know what? Right here. How about this one? This seems like it could be a winner right here and let's see what it does with this because pictures from outer space of earth i just feel like that has a market in the wall art space so let's see what it comes up with this one actually ran really quickly it was like 30 seconds or less uh these look a lot like the original graphic so perhaps this wasn't like what i was expecting i don't really know what to expect if you were going to sell it as wall art they'd probably want to make sure it's a real picture of earth um but just so you know guys you can actually have it remix by hovering over any of these graphics and clicking the diamond pattern and it'll say mix again just so you know but why don't we just run it through one more time i want to know what it's going to do with the astronaut here all right so let's see i'm going to click generate on this and you know people love people love their astronauts so i'm gonna click generate and let's see what it comes up with so we've got some interesting takes here on the astronaut uh really i mean you could do some some interesting things with these two like perhaps if you wanted to make wall art maybe even do sort of that Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe style graphic, and maybe like put a couple of them next to each other uh, in like a quadrant or even, you know, you could do nine tiles if you wanted to. It looks like one of these is getting hung up. It's a little bit delayed. Uh, but guys, like clearly there's a lot you can utilize this tool for. It's also just a lot of fun in general to use it. Um, in terms of like downloading the graphics, uh, if you pay, I believe it's like $9 a month. Of course, you don't have to, you know, you can use the link in the description. Make sure they could always run a promo or something like that. It could be less. Um, but then you'll be able to download and use this, I think, unlimited. And if you need to also, there are other AIs that do upscaling. So if you did want to like upscale the resolution to sell it as wall art, that also can be done. One of them is like Topaz AI. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called that does uh, image upscaling. So just thinking out loud here about the different ways that you could do this, but definitely a low hanging fruit would be to just come down here, do something like this. You know what I mean? Simple silhouette, um, monotone graphics and sell these as digital download packs. And that should definitely make you some money. Um, I've, I've sold stuff like this myself, so I can speak firsthand to the fact that that works and it would work really well with like my designs. If you guys know about my design software, um, it's like perfect for getting you set up creating digital download listings in bulk and also just like creating mock-ups, framing them uh, in a beautiful way that helps customers actually get excited to buy what you've got to offer. So guys, check it out. Again, all of Creative Fabrica's AI tools are available. I'll drop a link to where you can view all of them, right? Over here on the sidebar, you can actually see the various ones they've got. Uh, this was Image Mix. It's available in a Chrome extension. I'll link to that in the description as well. So everything you need is going to be in the description, guys. I hope you thought this was as cool as I did. And I hope you go check it out and uh, create some fun remixes for yourself. Please hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. And I will see you tomorrow with a new video.